the winner of The Biggest Loser too thin? Drake is one of the leading nominees heading into this weekend's Grammy Awards. Media executive, movie pioneer, and philanthropist Sir Run Run Shaw passed away yesterday. It's been confirmed that the fatal car crash that killed Paul Walker was caused by speed and not mechanical failure. In entertainment news, arrests have been made in relation to Philip Seymour Hoffman's death. Also, why is the show The Biggest Loser facing a scandal after announcing Rachel Fredrickson the winner? We'll tell you why later. For now, back to you, Lizzie. When Sheridan graduate Peter Lepinitis created the animated short film Surly Squirrel in 2005, little did he know that one day his mischievous squirrel would be at the heart of a feature-length film, The Nut Job. Investigators found no evidence that the car had mechanical problems and ruled out debris or other roadway conditions. Thanks, Lizzie. Look out, Toronto, because a Game of Thrones exhibit is coming. So don't be surprised if you see some crazy costumes around the city. I'll have more on that at 3.30. In other Bieber news, former Disney star Selena Gomez is blaming her ex-boyfriend pop star for being a bad influence. Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin have called it quits after 10 years of marriage. The famous actress and Coldplay lead singer announced their split in a joint statement on her blog. Sheridan's ceramic studio exhibit Intimate and Media is running at the Trafalgar campus. Our reporter Destiny Browning spoke with some of the students about their work. Take a look. He says he considers Washington to be dysfunctional and will focus on jobs and the economy along with the importance of education. And ever wonder what goes on in the world of animation? Reporter Destiny Browning has the down low on the Sheridan Animation Program. Take a look. And bad boy Bieber is at it again. The Canadian pop star and his entourage reportedly harassed and were abusive to staff aboard a private jet last week. However, there was an outbreak of mockery on social media following news of the couple's separation. One example was a clearly photoshopped image on Twitter of Chris Martin smiling and pumping his fist at a Burger King with the caption, Chris Martin bravely faces a life without Gwyneth Paltrow, both known as practicing vegans. Neil Young is still rocking the free world. The legendary 68-year-old Canadian musician was honored Tuesday night by the producers and engineers wing of the Grammys. Headliners of the event include Eminem, Kings of Leon, Calvin Harris, and recent Grammy winner, Lord. This year's festival marks the 10-year anniversary in Chicago's lakefront Grant Park. The acts are spread out over eight stages and the event runs August 1st to the 3rd. People Magazine has named a new hottie of the year. The magazine officially announced Adam Levine as the 2013 Sexiest Man Alive. Rumors that he would be on the cover started to spread last week when Ask Levine admitted that he did not see it coming. Little House on the Prairie's actor Richard Ball dies at age 89. And a happy birthday to Glee star Darren Chris, who celebrates his 27th birthday. That's all we have for your entertainment news. Now back to the desk.